the Duchess of Cambridge has won people over by doing her duty and never putting a step wrong, according to a royal author. Ingrid Seward, editor of Majesty magazine, said that while Kate Middleton, 37, hadn't had an easy time at the beginning of her time with the royal family, she has won people over by working hard and making few mistakes. The royal commentator also suggested the upcoming royal tour of Pakistan, which starts today, was an indication of the respect the Queen had for Kate. She told Hello! magazine, the Pakistan tour is very serious and politically sensitive and it's a great honor that she and William have been asked to do it. The Queen has obviously got a terrific faith in their ability to do it brilliantly. Kate and William are due to land in Pakistan today ahead of their four-day tour in the country. And Ingrid suggested the royal trip was coming at a very happy time in the Duchess's life, pointing to her family unit and successful summer of projects as evidence. She suggested that Kate hadn't always had an easy ride in the royal family, and had faced challenges to start with. But Ingrid said, she was given quite a hard time in the beginning but she has won people over by working hard to do her duty and never putting a foot wrong. The royal author went on to suggest that the Duchess appeared to have hit her stride with her projects in recent months. She said that Kate looked to be really enjoying the projects she's chosen to do, and said it shows in her face. Ingrid added that Kate appears to have found a happy balance between family life and her royal duties, saying, she obviously has got her life organized so she can spend as much time as possible with the children and still do all her work. It comes weeks after a royal insider revealed how Kate had grown from a young student into a future queen. Speaking to People magazine, several royal sources commented on the Duchess' growing confidence in her role as the future queen consort. The article points to the Duchess' increasingly focused interest in mental health, early intervention and children's charities. It also notes the confident way in which the Duchess of Cambridge delivered her speech at the official opening of her Back to Nature garden at RHS Wisley on Tuesday. Prince William is expected to tell a reception in Islamabad that Pakistan can always rely on the UK for friendship and the economic role it plays. Kate Middleton and Prince William will celebrate the unique bonds that Britain has with Pakistan during their groundbreaking tour this week. William is expected to tell a reception in Islamabad on Tuesday that the country, where the couple landed earlier today, can always rely on the UK for friendship and the economic role it plays. The royal couple will cover 620 miles over the next four days and will visit the cities of Islamabad and Lahore and also witness how parts of rural Pakistan are coping with the effects of climate change. William will tell an audience in the capital that the country has an unbelievably diverse geography that spans deserts to glaciers and everything in between. And, he notes, it is the sixth largest country by population and the birthplace of the youngest ever Nobel Peace Prize winner in Malala Yousafzai. We share unique bonds so it will always be in our interest for Pakistan to succeed not least because of the 1.5 million people living in the UK with Pakistani origin and the fact that the UK is one of the biggest investors in Pakistan's economy, he adds. You can always rely on the UK to keep playing an important role as a key partner and friend. On Monday, the couple stepped off the British government's Royal Air Force Voyager plane at the Pakistani Air Force Base Nua Khan in Rawalpindi, just outside the capital, Islamabad where they were met by the British High Commissioner, Thomas Drew. Kate arrived in a culturally inspired look, a twist on the traditional shawl were commies. The royal opted for a stunning aqua blue bespoke flowing top and fitted pants by Catherine Walker, one of her go-to designers and a favorite of Princess Diana, which she paired with nude heels. The royal parents left children Prince George, 6, Princess Charlotte, 4, and Prince Louis, 1 at home in London, but Kate and William made sure they dropped their two eldest off at school before boarding the plane to Pakistan. Wherever they can, the royal parents try to timetable their travel before any public event around seeing George and Charlotte off to school or welcoming them back. The visit will focus on programs which empower young people, and organizations that help ensure they have the best possible start in life. Access to quality education particularly to girls and young women is one of the UK's top priorities in Pakistan, 
the couple's spokesman said in a briefing before the tour. The Duke and Duchess are looking forward to spending time meeting young Pakistanis, and hearing more about their aspirations for the future.